Today in our 2019 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SC4 platform style 4 bike rack. That's part number HR1400Z. So I've already got it loaded up just to give you a good idea of what it looks like on your Subaru and how it's going to hold our bikes. Now I did say it's a 4 bike rack, but this can also be converted down to a 2 bike rack and you can also take off the 2 bike extension and put on a cargo carrier. So this bike rack has a ton of options. You know, as I said, it can be converted down to that two bike rack. So if we're not carrying all of these bikes, we can take off that extra uh, weight. We're gonna have more clearance off the back and just carry our two bikes or our two bikes and some cargo. So keep all of that in mind. And I'll show you how that easily comes off to convert it to two bike here in just a little bit. But right away, with all of this, you may be concerned about how you're gonna access your rear hatch. No problem, it tilts away so we can access that. What you do is you disconnect that snapper pin there, go ahead and pull it out, and we'll slightly pick up on the bike rack and pull out that quick release pin. Now, keep in mind, with all of our bikes, it's gonna get a little heavy, so you may need an extra set of hands from one of your um, three other people that you might have with you. So we'll tilt it away until it rests, and then we can open up that rear hatch. As you can see, we're going to have more than enough room to access our gear. Go ahead and close that back up. And to pick it back up, not a big deal. Just raise it up. Again, it may be heavy, so get a second set of hands if you need to. That quick release pin is going to auto engage, allowing it to rest in place. And don't forget to replace that snapper pin and lifting up on it slightly allows that to go back in place. Go and clip it and we're all set. Now it holds our bikes by their top tube. A uh, rubber hook goes over that top tube, puts down pressure into the cradles. Then a hook and loop strap keeps our wheels in place. So with all of our bikes loaded up, it's going to be a nice solid bike rack as you can see. A little bit of play, but I'm actually shaking the entire vehicle here. So, once again, a great bike rack to carry all of these bikes. Let's go ahead and take our bike off. So, I'm going to fold this center mast over first. Go ahead and replace the pin there. That way I can easily stretch over and reach it. Undo my straps first. And then I'm going to pick up on my frame hooks. There's a little button on this side. They are lockable. That way you don't have to worry about anybody removing your bike from your bike rack. Raise it up. From there we can lift our bike off. <clears throat> now I'd like to mention that Hollywood Racks gives us the option to remove the Phillips head screw from behind the mass. By doing that, it's gonna allow us to completely remove those frame hooks. That way, it may make it a little bit easier when lifting the bikes off, we won't run into that hook. So we can completely remove that uh, to make it easier. Go ahead and replace these hooks, or excuse me, the uh, hook and loop straps, just so we're not hanging around. You, of course, can leave them undone. That way, it's ready to go to load up your bike. Let's go ahead and grab a measurement. So with this huge bike rack, we've added about 47 inches to our Outback wagon. Our closest point is gonna be here, about eight inches. And then at the very back, we are looking at about 21 and a half inches. Now, as I said earlier, it can be converted down to two bike rack. I'll show you how quick and easy that is. We'll undo our anti-rattle lever here at the very back, then here in the center, simply pull out the clip, and it slides out. So again, very easy, and it's all set. Now, when that extension gets removed, you can actually replace that hitch at the back with a reflector. That's gonna help us remain visible at night. Now, if you had the cargo carrier that I mentioned, that carrier is just going to slide right into the back of the two bike rack, and then you have the cargo carrier with the two bike rack. I'm going to go ahead and fold this down, and we'll grab a few more measurements. 
So with it converted to a two bike rack, we're at about 28 inches on the back. The measurement here and here hasn't changed, though the ground clearance is now about 20 inches. Now you can drive around town with it this way. You can of course leave it this way when you're on the trails. If you'd like more clearance at the back, you can actually fold it up against your Subaru. And you can also do this with the four bike rack version as well. What we'll do is we'll pull out the quick release pin here, fold it up, and then we've got a lot more room here. With it folded up, we're looking at about 15 and a half inches here. Our closest point is gonna be about seven inches here to here. And our ground clearance here at the very bottom is about 13 inches. Now, so with it folded up, as you can see, it's gonna be ideal for pulling in your garage or in a tight parking spot. So even though we converted it down to a two bike rack, if we had the four bike rack, we'd be saving that much more room that way we can get into that garage or that tight spot. Now it secures into our two inch by two inch receiver only. The way it goes is uh, the shank goes all the way in and butts up to the face of that hitch. The included pin goes through and the lock goes on. Now the nice thing about the lock is that it is gonna prevent anyone from removing our bike rack and it is key to like to our frame hooks. That way we're not carrying around a bunch of keys. Now, what makes this bike rack so solid is its integrated anti-rattle device. So once the pin goes through, uh, the lock goes on, and we come back here to our anti-rattle lever. We tighten this up clockwise. It's going to remove all that play and rattle from inside our receiver and our bike rack to make a nice solid ride for our two bikes, our four bikes, whatever you've got on the back here. But with that being said, that's going to complete our test fit of the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE4 platform style four bike rack on our 2019 Subaru Outback Wagon. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. The solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or uneven pavement.